Okay, so everyone, today we'll be doing an experiment that will introduce reactions. And uh, we're going to take uh, two alpha seltzer tablets and dissolve them in either cold or hot water. So, um, over here I have one beaker, and the water temperature is... So we think 23. Everyone record this number, put 23 into your notebook. Alright, so 23 degrees Celsius. Don't forget the units. Now we have we have a more a heated test tube with heated water. What temperature do we have here? What do you guys think? 50, 48. 40. Now it's starting to fall. Let me put it back in. So this is important. We want to try it out best to get an accurate reading. Everyone record this number when I give it to you in your notebook, please, so we have our experimental data. Alright, so what do we have here? I'm thinking... Uh, Jen, how do we have here? What do you guys think? Uh, 48. Uh, what, uh, I, think, I think it's 48. My, my video uh, is giving me... My, my display on my phone is giving me something close to 60. Here, Javier, try to look from this angle. I think it would be better because right now I'm 59, I think, right? And it's still rising. All right, so yeah. let's just say, okay, everyone, it's going to be 59. So we have one beaker at 59, another beaker at 23. Record those numbers. 16. Now, I need someone to time this. So get, get your cell phone or your, and time this. So I need time this reaction, time that reaction. I need two timers. One person to time the hot one, another person to time the cold one. All right, so I'm gonna break up this tablet right here. Oh, it's not easy to do it with the phone, but I'll have to try. Yes, please break it. Uh, my hands are not, I don't have four hands. <laughs> I wish I did. Hey, Mr. Quad, which one? Which one? Uh, we're gonna drop into one and one into the other. So. Um, oh, yes, Sebastian will time this one and Gregory will time this one. One pair, right? Yes, one here. So, okay, one, one two, two three. three. Drop this one. All right, let's see. Look at it react. See, isn't that cool? It's reacting in the cold water. That's cold, right? Yes, and, and Gregory's timing, right? Good. So yeah. now we're going to drop one into the hot water and Sebastian will time the hot one. All right, All right Sebastian. Yeah. Let me broke this stuff. One, two, and three. All right. So now we've got two reactions, the hot water reaction, the cold water reaction, and we're timing both. Gregory, what do we have for the cold water reaction? How much? 27 seconds. 27 seconds. This one, I think it's already over. Oh my God. Yeah. Is it done? Yeah. And how many what time do you have? Yeah. Only 12 seconds. So look, we have different times for different reactions because of the different water temperature. So, that, so now we're learning it's about... More effective right here. Yeah, it's already done. Yeah. So we have two reactions, very similar, but they take different times. So now we know what a reaction is, and we're starting to think about what different factors or what different variables are going to affect how quickly these reactions happen. So just to review, we had 23 degrees and 12. about 50 degrees, and we had 12, 12 seconds and 27. and 27. So remember those numbers and I will post this so that other students can watch because we have limited amounts of Alka-Seltzer tablets.